Hey YouTube, Zealous Talon here. Today we are taking a look at the Power Ranger Samurai Bulzuka. Well, technically it's Power Ranger Super Samurai, but let's just keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> K-I-S-S. Anyway, this is uh, the American counterpart of the Japanese Mogu Bazooka. Um, it's downsized. I don't actually own one. I've only seen comparisons. But, uh... From what I've seen, the uh, given that this is about the size of a large handgun, the original Mogi Bazooka seems uh, a little closer in scale to a sawed-off shotgun. So, a little bit more imposing over there. But this is still, uh, I mean, as I said, this is still sizable. I mean, I'm holding this no problem whatsoever. Um, yeah, about the size of a large handgun, like I said. You get in the box the uh, the bolzuka and the horns, which have to be attached by you. Um, the gold on them is uh, harder plastic, whereas all the gray is uh, PVC. Um, it's, it seems a little bit stronger than the PVC used on the spin sword. It seems more akin to the Mega Blade, but that could just be the thickness of it. Um, I mean, it is... It does have some, some cutouts to say material along the bottom side, but uh, it's still rather robust. You also get the Bolzuka disc, which has a very simple animation pattern. It's just kind of the front half of a bowl, and it's made to look like it's charging. So um, it's, a white, it's white in color, which matches the Japanese disc, so that's neat. Um, painted details, you've got a nice swath of silver right there, a little bit of silver around the, the muzzle of the gun, and, um, the bull's eyes are green. Um, the band here, though, the, cl the symbol here is gold plastic, whereas the remainder is paint. Um, you have some red on the sides with some gold accenting big patch of red here on either side around this logo and then uh on this side the logo and the the very the very bottom of the hilt is painted all around but on this side it's paint whereas this side it is a gold colored plastic button so um you know the the there's a uh, enough paint to break it up really but uh it, it's not really detail oriented it's just you know patches of color sort of because this whole thing is just molded out of a few gobs of black plastic for the most part. So, black and red. <clears throat> so, the switch is on the bottom. Um, now, I've seen how the Mogu Bazooka works. What they did, basically, was they took the standard shot out of the Mogu Bazooka. And then they used the, uh, the disc shot as the standard shot for this. And then the super shot is the disc shot. And then there's no super shot. And you'll kind of see what I mean as I go along. Um, since those aren't official names. But, but you'll see where I'm going with this. So we turn it on. And we get a, the bull's mooing noise because it's a cow. And cows go moo. Um, to fire it, you simply pull the trigger. There is only one fire sound. It is not randomized. It does not cycle. And as it is here, this is the only noise it makes. Now in Japan, it would have been a simpler shot, but that is the sound that the Japanese version made when you insert the disc. Which gives you sound effect number three, putting in the disc. It charges it up. Now when you fire it, which was the super shot in Japan, not the disc shot, but that sound effect goes on forever to the point where it annoys me, actually. <laughs> it's a little too charged up. Um, removing the disc gets you the fifth and final sound effect, which is it powering down. Now, why do I refer to a shot as a super shot? Well, because this combines with the super spin sword. And to do so, you simply have the super, super disc as your hilt. Inside of the black box, you will place the bolzuka disc. 
with the bolzuka itself, you're going to uh, flick this gold lever, which will release this top door. Once you just flip it over, and then you'll tuck the bull head down so that the horns point straight forward. The spin sword will then you'll you'll slide the disc down into that gap, and it just goes right down the middle, clicks in right there, and then you flip this panel back over. Now that would activate new sound effects for the Mogi Bazooka. It does absolutely nothing but look awesome here in America. So this putting all this together opens up exactly no new sounds. This has the same shot noise as the Bolzuka without the disc. So yeah, that's kind of disappointing, but at the same time it looks really cool because this actually the, the spin sword actually protrudes significantly from the front of the Bolzuka as opposed to the Shinkamaru being pretty much equal to the horns of the Mogi Bazooka. So this actually looks like a shank pistol, like uber bayonet of awesome. And I do actually dig it quite a bit. However, the far more impressive combination of this is with the Mega Blade. So we're just going to open that up and release the Spin Sword. Um, you can put the Bolzuka disc back in if you choose to do so. I don't think it's a required component of the combination, but I choose to just to not lose track of it. You'll also need to put the handle straight back. You take your Mega Blade and laying that down, make sure this clip is out straight. You're going to take the belt clip and there's an indent for it here. You're going to set these together, push on this gold button, and they'll click, and then you just cover that back up. And this is the Shogun Spear. This is uh, the Mega Blade going hilt to hilt with the, uh, the Bolzuka, so you have a giant ass spear of awesomeness and doom and destruction, and I love it. Uh, I mean, an extra sound for this at least would have been nice please. But either way, this is over three feet of just savagery and telling your kids no every five seconds that they try to hit something with it because they feel like the offspring of James Bond and Jackie Chan blessed by Chuck Norris. So, um, invoking the spirit of Bruce Lee while we're at it. Anyway, this is just, this is just awesome. I mean, even in adult, an adult's hand, this could suffice as a cosplay toy, you know, as a short staff. I mean, hey, Loki used a short staff in Avengers. Why, why can't I use a short staff with a bull head on the front and mostly a sword as a bottom half? Uh, sorry that it's waving around. There's just absolutely no way I'll get that in frame. Um, I highly, highly recommend the Bolzuka if you have the Mega Blade, just because the Shogun Spear combination is so awesome. If you have the S Super Spin Sword, again, I highly recommend it. A significant amount of this toy's value is in the fact that it combines into some wicked-looking combinations. Um, on its own, though, the $25 is not justified. If you're going to pick up a single roleplay toy from Samurai, get the Mega Blade. Um, this on its own is just not worth it. It's just not enough sounds, not enough playability. Um, Toys R Us does sell a Shogun Spear pack that includes both of these. So if you want this, keep an eye out for that. Um, otherwise, happy hunting. This is Zealous Tom with the Bolzuka. Take care.